All right, I'm going to try a little trick since I can't uh, do anything else. Uh, I um, put a piece of paper under the corner here that I think is low. I did, I did print the test squares uh, with it. It came out a little bit better, but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go ahead and try and do the um, the uh, alignment, uh, the bed leveling with the paper in the corner and uh, see what happens. Um, I just want to see how much of a difference it will make on the numbers that I get at the end. And then also I have removed the filament because what happens if you try and do the alignment with the filament, it actually heats the nozzle. You'll have crap dripping on your print bed. Um, so, um, Theoretically, even if the bed is warped on this, the printer should be able to check for that, make the appropriate measurements at the different points, and be able to print. Why is it not doing that? Well, that's a pretty good question. I guess it must be so far bad somewhere that it can't accommodate for it. Uh, I don't know if this rail is plastic. I think it is. Um, like I said before, these were not even. So if you measured from here and here to the print bed, it was wrong. But then again, I just thought about it. This was probably correct, and the print bed was probably wrong. So, most likely, this is now off because it's now been adjusted to a crooked print bed. So, basically, um, this needs to be calibrated in a different manner. Um, so, I, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but it just dawned on me. It's like, well, wait a minute. If the print bed is crooked and we know it's bent and you use the print bed to measure this thing, you're going to measure it incorrectly. And it wasn't off by a lot, but I did make an adjustment to that, so... Honestly, this thing's absolutely a nightmare. Like, I would expect this from some knockoff printer, you know. Or, you know, some $129 printer. But... I guess uh, I'll have to just keep trying and see if I can figure it out, you know. It can't be that damn hard.